So what we're going to have here today are two breakdowns of a Ryobi 40 volt lithium ion packs. We have a OP4015, which is a 55 watt hour battery for the Ryobi. And then the second one is again a 40 volt pack, which is the OP4026 Ryobi lithium ion pack. You're going to need some tools to do that. You're going to need star screw here is going to be the size T8 and I just use a husky packet it has all the different sizes but again you're going to need a T8 for that you're also going to need these this size right here is a hex that has the safety pan on the inside which is a TT15 size and I just use it on a socket it's also good if you're going to be harvesting for the 18650 battery cells. You're going to want to have a Dremel or something like that to cut through all the tabs, but we'll get into that later. That's pretty much all you need. So to start by breaking these down, on these packs you're going to have a sticker on the top here. You simply remove that sticker and then you're going to see two screws back here which are going to be using the star set T8 to remove these two. What that does on this pack I've already started is it's going to remove this pack from the housing. On the other side, you flip it over, you have four screws here, one, two, three, four, and you're going to be using the TT15 to remove these, which I've kind of already started just for expediting the video. And that in turn is going to remove this backing here. And it's not uncommon if you're going to be breaking down lots of other battery packs be it Bosch or whatever, you're going to have a similar type of screw set, safety screw on there. So This one's not registering any charge. I'm breaking these down for the purpose of harvesting the individual cells, not for repairing. If you do want to repair the batteries, packs themselves, that's not a bad way to go either. So simply just kind of prying this apart. get in there with whatever. This is another stick. You're going to want to take that off. You can use whatever you want. A screwdriver. I use a Leatherman to get in there. just need something thin to kind of pop that off. And as you see, it just comes apart really easily. And here's a bag. And this is trash. You see an array of cells here. So again, I've already popped these two screws off of here. I'm using the, the hex screw here to get in there and pop those two out this one's going to have two as well. So the packs are almost identical. The only real difference is, is the amp hour capacity. They're both the same voltage, but this one has this, another set that's going to double the amperage. Pops right out of the housing. So here we go. Inside of this pack you're going to have one, two, let's see here, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So you got ten cells inside of this pack. I'm guessing this one has twenty, but we'll find out when we get to it. So at this point, you can either remove the chipboard, again with the, with the screwdriver, or you can just dive right in and start using the Dremel. Now it's important to remember that these are, this is still technically hot. You have your positive and you have your negative over here, so, and then all of this is all wired up still, so you want to be careful when you're using metal on top of this. And if you want to break this down and pop this off, this right here is no big deal, this is just your little LED light that comes right out. So to, to break this all down, you're going to want to use like the Dremel probably to go ahead and cut these tab welds off. But overall, I mean, these, these cells look pretty good, even though this wasn't registering any voltage on the multimeter. Let's double check. So there's nothing coming across this. It could be a bad board. There's all types of things that could go wrong with it, but aside from just looking at this and visually inspecting it, I don't see any leakage of anything on any of the cells. None of them are exploded. There's no corrosion. So my guess would be, after having broken down a bunch of these, there's probably something to do with the board. But I'm going to go ahead and pop the board off right now just to get it out of the way. 